Yo! What's up? I'm Adam. I'm Serena. And we are going to dive into the new AI capabilities inside of Power BI Desktop. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. Serena, thanks for joining me. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do with the Power BI product team? Yeah, sure. Um, so I'm part of the AI team in Power BI. Um, so we work on a lot of cool stuff that uh, is coming out now. Um, we have, uh, we're doing AutoML, we have uh, these text analytics uh, and vision things I'm showing today. Uh, lots of AI visuals, so that's what we work on. Ooh, that's exciting. That's all the fun stuff that everyone wants to play with. So, All right, so set the stage for us. What What is the, the challenge that people face and why would they even look at something like this inside of Power BI Desktop? Yeah, sure. So. Um, uh, you know, sometimes in uh, maybe you have a lot of data that is mostly numbers, and you can uh, get useful insights from them. But uh, sometimes you also might have some rich text data that can be super useful, like comments that people uh, leave, or um, you know, how, uh, em employee happiness kind of survey kind of things. And um, uh, right now, it's very hard to get some useful insight out of that. So that's what um, you can now do in Power BI Desktop. Awesome. All right. So enough of all this talking. Let's head over to your laptop and see it in action. OK. Um, so I have this data set here uh, with some data about Seattle rentals. Um, so people are renting out their place in Seattle. And I can see uh, uh, some things about the listing price and how much is it occupied. And also, I can see that people are actually leaving reviews, um, lots of reviews uh, for all these different places in Seattle. Um, but if I if I want to know more about why places are doing well or not, and why pe uh, people are ha being happy with their uh, rental, um, then I really need to dive into what are people saying. Right, because the numbers don't really tell us that. We need to see yeah. what their comments are about it and derive from that. Yeah, correct. So that's what I'm going to do in um, in Power Query. So I'm just opening my query here, and you can see the data that I have. So um, let's have a look at this reviews data. Um, so of all these listings, uh, they're all the, the people who visit and who stay there can leave comments. And so I have all the comments here in, in just a flat, simple table. Um, and now what I uh, to get some more insight in, in what people are saying and without having to read all, through all of it, I'm just going to uh, go in here and use the text analytics. OK, so that's new. So that's that's new as of the November 2019 Power BI desktop, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can hit it from the home page, or you can add a column, and then uh, they're over here as well. Awesome. Is this a preview feature? So do we need to turn it on to start, or is it just there? Yes. No, it is a preview feature. So we'll be in the preview settings. Right. Um, and that's all, all three of them. So we use text analytics and vision, which are um, pre-trained models from uh, Azure Cognitive Services. Okay. Um, and then we also allow you to connect to Azure Machine Learning models. But in this case, for the comments, I'm just going to do text analytics for now. Um, so while that opens up, uh, you'll see the library of all the functions that are, uh, that are in there today. So today you can, do, um, uh, you can detect the language of uh, text. You can extract key phrases, so topics that are um, most common, common in the text. And then you can also score the sentiment. So I'm going to start with that one right now. I already selected the, the, the comments uh, column. So it's, that is in the, my selected text over here. Um, it's also telling me that I'm going to get a score from uh, 0 to 1, 0 being uh, most negative and 1 being most positive. And then if I want, if I know the language, I can put the uh, language code in here. But I don't have to do that. So if I don't do that, I can um, uh, Power BI will just detect the language for me. Now, one thing about these uh, these AI insights is that it uses Power BI Premium, and so um, we actually use the uh, run the the model on your premium capacity uh, while you're in Power BI Desktop, and that is kind of a new new concept. I can actually select the premium capacity here, so I just selected this one, and so if I want to change it, I, I can do that right here in uh, in this UI. Okay, so I'm going to run it, um, and then. Going back to the table, you'll see now that um, once this is done, 
is now going through all the comments and just uh, scoring that sentiment of the pre with the pre-trained model. And just in a few seconds, you see that now I have this this sentiment score. That's awesome. It didn't it was just. A few clicks and we got it. Yeah, it's super simple. I don't nice. have to build this own my own model. I can just use this one in Power BI. I love it. So this is similar. Like we've had this in Power BI data flows, but now we're bringing this to Power BI Desktop yep. to make it beyond data flows. Yes, correct. So um, yeah, we want to just uh, uh, offer it to every Power BI user wherever you are in Power BI. So um, uh, so now it's both in Power Query Online and in Power Query. All right. So we've We've got that sentiment score. Now, what do I do with that? Yeah. So now I can. Uh, now I have a score instead of all that text uh, that I have to read through. I can now start using that in my report. And so I already also did the uh, key phrase extraction and vision. So it's the same thing, couple of clicks. Uh, so I'm just gonna close this for a second and back to my report. So now, all of a sudden, this, this data becomes much more interesting because I can see uh, like how, what is actually the sentiment of, of uh, all these listings in, in Seattle. How is that sentiment progressing over time? I could look at specific neighborhoods where there are uh, m m a higher percentage of positive reviews versus negative reviews. Um, so for instance, there's some area over here that seemed to a, a zip code that has a lot of high percentage of negative reviews but it is going up so you know that way I can really uh, uh, just uh, keep a uh, track on, on what is happening in, in the city and, and for these rentals. Yeah, that's really cool. Now similarly I can also um, use the image um, uh, tagging for, for some analysis. Um, so people have so with these listings people post pictures of the place that they rent out um, and so I've uh, done some image tagging on that to see what is the top, what are the topics that uh, people have on those pictures. And of course, there's going to be a lot in common because it's all like the indoors of houses and stuff like that. But you know, maybe there's something interesting here. So I've just plotted like the the, the positive, neutral, and negative uh, comments over here, and I'm gonna. Um, filter on the negative to see if there's anything that can be that we can learn from these images. So I can see what the most common tags uh, are over here and then I can also I plotted the tags that are related to lower sentiment. And so the th the two things that come up on top are gardens and plants. Um, so I'm just gonna select those as well and see what these comments are about. And so, and so you see that there's a couple of uh, um, listings coming up that have pictures of the outside and that people are saying like it's very old, it was under construction, uh, there's all these like things yeah, that a little, little outdated. Not, not happy about. So, you know, this is just a first, a first glance, but maybe when people are not posting pictures of the inside of their house, but the outside, then, you know, maybe there's something um, in the inside that you don't want to see. <laughs> nice. So it just allows you to just dig in deeper and get more meaning yep. out of that actual data which is awesome. Yeah. All right, Serena, that's amazing, and I love that this is now in Power BI Desktop. I just want to remind everyone, make sure you update to the November 2019 release to get these features, and it does require premium for all of what you showed? Uh, no, so only for the text analytics and vision. Uh, for the Azure ML um, capabilities, you just have to share Azure ML models uh, with, with yourself or people, and it will show yeah, up. So it just uses that Azure ML resource and whatever is there. Okay, that's good to know. All right. So, I want to pass this off to you. What do you guys want to see in terms of the AI capabilities in Power BI Desktop? We showed you what's already there. So is there something else that you would want? Let us know down in the comments below. We want to hear it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both myself, Patrick, and... Serena. Thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.